What it do, man? Be well through the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Life made it five back at it again, man. I really just want on the net boss talk with business, man. Y'all make sure y'all like these videos, share these videos, don't skip no ads. I'm a little bit under the weather right now, man. And I believe it just started and I hope it don't get worse, but hey, I'm gonna go ahead and do these videos. I'm gonna put two topics into one video so y'all bear with me. The first topic we're gonna be talking on, man, is this DJ Screw movie that's coming out, right? Alright, let's pull DJ Screw up. Alright, Robert Earl Davis Jr. You know, out of Houston, Texas now. I don't know about nobody else around uh, around the globe or whatever, but being from Mississippi, in the part where I'm from, we hey, we came up out there, man. You know, DJ Screw the founder of the SUC click, screwed up click. <clears throat> Brought you um who Lil Flip, Zero, Lil Kiki, uh Big Mo RIP, Big Hawk RIP, um who else, man? Um, look, oh, man, it, man, there's so many people, man. It's so many, man. Y'all have to go look it up, man. But yeah, man, y'all. Now remember this. Now back in the gap, right when people were coming out with CDs, everybody would come out with the regular version, and then they would come out with the chopped and screwed version. And that was a real big thing, you know. Screw brought, screw brought Texas to the light, you know. Yeah, it's me. Don't get me wrong. Now Scarface and Pimp C and Bun B, UGK, you know, they did that too now. But I'm just saying, you know, like when the spotlight came, you know how like everything touched one state and go to another state. When it hit Houston real tough, around the time when Mike Jones and Slim Thug and, you know, everybody was doing their thing or whatever, you know, Screw brought that to prevalence because everybody was listening to their music screwed up, you feel me? And I'm glad that they finally bring in spotlight to, to DJ Screw. Because, you know, his story do need to be told. Because, like I say, he hit the scene and he didn't hit it just locally. He hit it major. For real. I mean, for people that don't know, you know, go look it up, man. Even my intro, you know, what it do, man. That That's not a Mississippi term. That's a Texas term, you feel me? But it's just something that I used to hear so much when I was young because people was... Listen to Texas music so much, you feel me? But it is what it is. You know, you got to show love and show respect, man, when it's due. So I'm glad they finally put a spotlight on the OG. And when the movie do come out, y'all make sure y'all go check it out. All right, man. Now we're going to touch on the last topic. We're going to be talking about YG400. All right, man. YG. Yeah, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. YG got a lot going on, man, but I, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But YG, he got his dough kicked in at like 4 in the morning in uh, San Fernando Valley. I think that's where they say it happened at, in the Chatsworth neighborhood. Police searched his home or whatever, and, and I don't, they don't even say if they found anything or anything like that, but he still went to jail, you know, born at 250000 I don't know, man, but authorities say, now this what they this what they will tell you. They say that it's a part of an ongoing investigation. Now, y'all know that he was set to, what was it, perform at the Grammys in the next two days. Or when is it? Sunday? Sunday, I think he's supposed to perform. You know, doing a Nipsey Hussle tribute. So, he won't be, well, it's not known for sure if he's going to be out to do that or not. But... You know, man, YG had the thing that went on with the car that he got stole, which, I, you know, he innocent. He wasn't there, he innocent of that. And then, you know, they had the thing, now, I ain't saying this is this got nothing to do with YG. But the thing happened with Slim 400, you know, they, they're from the same hood or whatever, you feel me? And I'm just going to say this. If you famous... And you get money. And you're a street guy. Or you was in the streets or whatever. Key word to what I just said was. Past tense. Get out of the streets. Live in the present. Do your music. You feel me? Let the street stuff go. You can't do the street stuff and the music stuff. At the same time. And. You really can't, man. I mean, 
People try to do it, man, but I'm going to tell you, man, it always going to end up bumping into each other. It's going gonna, it's gonna to interfere with each other. It's, or you're going to be really be burning it tight at the end, man, to where... To where, man, you just, you know, you're just doing too much. And then you'll be going without sleep. And when you go without sleep, you don't focus. And when you don't focus, that's when you slip, you know. You can't do both. And that's not saying that YG is doing both. But I'm just saying, you know, with all the things that's going on, you might need to distance yourself, you know, and just square up for a minute, basically. You know, it is what it is. Square up for a minute and just chill. Do your own thing. Do your music. <clears throat> Leave the hood where it's set for right now. Everybody know you got love for the hood. I got love for my for my town. I got love for my hood. But I'm not going to go out here and be on dummy missions and all that. Trying to prove my worth or my love for the hood or for my town. You feel me? I got kids out here. I got responsibilities. I got things to live for. I got things to do. And people need to start looking at things like that, man. If you're over 35, I'm pretty sure that you got obligations and responsibilities in this world, right? So if you know you do, handle it. Now, with that being said, if you're out here in the street, you know, some people don't have no choice. I understand that. Some people do, though. Some people have good jobs and they have like security blankets or they might have rich parents and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But don't go out here and get in the streets and do all this dumb stuff if you don't have to. And then YG case being, and then they say that like it's a robbery investigation. That's another thing I meant to say. So being that you have money, there's no need for that. There's no need to prove that you're still a G. You know, people get money nowadays, and, man, they do the dumbest things, man. It's like back in the gap, when you got money, you didn't want to be noticed because you didn't want the attention. Now people want the attention, even if they ain't got the money, they still want the attention. So when they do get the money, man, they just, the attention that they want just be crazy, you feel me, man? We got to get out of that, man, real talk. But, you know, I hope YG get through all that. Y'all make sure y'all go check out that DJ Screw movie because I know I'm going to go check it out, man, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan, bro. I rock, with, I rock with DJ Screw. My favorite artist was Big Mo, you feel me? Quick story before I go off this. In Tupelo, they had this thing called Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a celebration that they have, you know, about the slaves and being free. Y'all go look up Juneteenth. But anyway, they had this concert every year in Tupelo. And they try to fly out big names or whatever. So one year when I was like 16, I remember me and my homeboy, you know, we were going to Juneteenth. Because we were like, man, we, we got to go because Big Mo going to be there. And at the time, Big Mo had out the CD, Bar Baby. And who else was there? It was Big Mo, the group, the Hamptons, the dudes that sang, uh, You Can Wear My Jacket. Y'all go look that up if y'all don't remember that song. And somebody else, I can't remember, but I remember uh, the Hamptons, they did their thing, but then I remember uh, that music dropped. And then it was Chopped and Screwed, too, when he was rapping. It was... Big Mo. Man... It was so hype, man. I'm telling you, man. It's like it's like it's like everybody was sleeping apart, but then soon as the music dropped, everybody did. Oh, okay, okay, man. It was hype, man. R.I.P. Big Mo. R.I.P. DJ Screw. Y'all make sure y'all go check out that movie, man. Support that real talk. Support a real one. Also support this channel, man. Y'all hit that cash app and that PayPal. I'm trying to, you know, do new things with this channel, man. But I gotta have everybody support to do it, man. So make sure that you rock with me. Be wide through the hallway. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm gonna hit y'all another video real soon, man. Until then, me and hold up for you. Do what you're supposed to know what you wanna do. Y'all make sure y'all like these videos so you can get the recommendation and you know you can get all the videos to pop up in your feed or whatever, cause that's how YouTube recognizes it. So you gotta make sure you like these videos. If not, leave a comment, do something, you feel me? Alright, man. Y'all have a good day. I'm out.